okay yeah you can see here i eat in n create a web application and add ioc jars spring core context beans and commons login this simple core jar files are enough okay add this four jars to class path and one set jar files keep them under library okay for runtime environment and create one index page index dot jsp page and here create some properties files under src create one package resources and create properties files here new file data underscore te dot properties and create one more properties data underscore is it standard to keep this underscore te only here underscore te and underscore hi these are standard extensions only okay iso standard i8 in an extensions these are underscore hi underscore te and all this okay they given up to 200 plus languages support so your language first two characters you have to use along with your base name base name underscore your language first two characters you have to put here okay so in telugu if you want to write data here just my label i required here simple name so that name label in telugu language use a unicode converter write telugu unicode write this telugu content here and the same label create in hindi language and put their hindi content now dynamically you need to choose this properties file and that properties file data you need to populate in this index page so here how dynamically i can get language first first thing i need to know the browser language to know the browser language here you have to use request dot get headers through headers you need to read your browser language accept hyphen language so it will provide us browser language by using this browser language we have to create a locale object locale locale equal to new locale of so in this locale constructor our language value we have to pass okay then next create application context object ap equal to new class path xml application context okay load your resource gear resources slash spring xml file in that xml file what i am expecting a base name of your properties file so create a resource and configure base name of our properties file so to configure base name which class we have to use here the class name is resource bundle message source and in this class we have one setter method set base name so create resource bundle message source class object here and the id should be message source and the class name 
resource bundle message source and in this class we have one setter method property name base name our properties file base name value only we have to pass here data but the package name is resources slash data without any extension only base name we have to supply here that's it okay then call ap dot get message first one you have to pass your required value label and the next runtime arguments if you don't require keep it null and your language locale value you have to pass then finally you can expect a string value here then by using that value you can create a simple form here form action hello and here name instead of writing plain english name here you can put that dynamic value use expression put that value here colon text box input type text parameter name name and one submit button so actually for the submit button also you can apply the same you can change language here also value dynamically you can read submit okay anyways just to test this one only for two languages it will provide support one is for telugu and one is for hindi yeah run on server run it on server so here it is populating in telugu language change browser language internet options or else once try here okay telugu content displaying here and if you want to change this content to hindi language just change browser language based on browser language it will dynamically choose hindi properties file and from hindi properties file it will read data okay so if you required anywhere if you required particular language properties data you required to know that language which language browser is using that language you have to find first and then by passing that language value into this get message method we can get your required values okay then by using that values you can apply it in that's it simple right but it is not useful for applications this one is not useful just you just remember how to configure base name here in case of web applications spring mvc web applications we no need to write this type of code to print a value dynamically from properties file you no need to write this much code just they given simple tag library by writing that tag library they given like if you know struts in struts we have bean tags bean colon message tag so the same type of tag we have in spring mvc so in that mvc what we should do we no need to read this language or you no need to create locale and all this just what we have to do they given one simple tags spring tag library we need to import at the rate tag lib uri we have to import tag library form tag library actually it is form tag library and prefix with html and then by using that html colon message message and they given one key attribute here in that key if you pass your label dynamically it will populate the title result but it is possible in case of mvc application okay so for mvc applications for mvc applications we have tags support but this tags how to get that base name by using resource bundle message source so from here we have to supply properties file base name then this message tag internally it will apply the same type of code it will read browser language after reading browser language it will prepare a local object 
and internally the same implementation style it will follow okay the simple tag library you know need you no need to write this much code in case of mvc i'll show you okay 